Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we are playing Medieval 2 Total War, carrying on with our English campaign, of course, where we captured Krakow from the Poles. They've tried reinforcing it with a couple of units over here, but unfortunately, it's going to be too little, too late. And the Prince is coming as well, and he's all by himself. Now, what we are waiting for in Krakow is to get a bit of a garrison in there, which we can't unfortunately train at the moment. But once we've got a garrison in there, we're going to be pushing through with our army here, joining up with the other forces that are down here. My lord, yes. Once they've relieved Budapest's besieged. And we're going to move over to Bran and possibly push up from the south at the same time from Corinth. The Venetians tried taking Corinth and utterly got destroyed. So we're retraining our ships, our well, our troops over here. Do we need three carracks? Yes, I think we do. We're going to merge some of these troops together just so we don't have to retrain as many. 19, you can jump into there. Okay, 83, we've got two. We've got one there. We've got one there. Okay, so we can retrain that armored swordsman there. I'm trying to keep the experience levels the same. There we go, 35. Okay, so that's okay for them. Similarly, with these guys here, we can train them. Now, can we actually make some new ones? We can. So what I'm thinking I might do, actually... Oh, they've got the experience point, though. Can we make heavy build? We can do make dismounted English knights. Do you know what? Even though they've got experience, I'm going to get rid of them. We're going to make some dismounted English knights. We're going to retrain the rest of these guys as well. Probably going to take us a few turns, but once we've done that, we're going to be pushing up north towards Thessalonica. And taking the Hungarian settlement there as well. And that leaves them in a bit of a hard place, to be honest, because the Poles only have two settlements left. Granted, they are citadels. And the Hungarians, once we've moved up to Thessalonica, will only have two settlements themselves. They've got Nikaya, which is part of a jihadi. There's, there's just... <laughs> there's just... Troops. I mean, they're not going to survive that long. They really aren't going to survive that long. There's so many troops surrounding them from all different angles. Now, I'm pretty sure the Timurids had two armies. I think the Turks didn't have two. I thought the Moors didn't have two. It was the Mongols and the Timurids. So unless they've already attacked and have failed. But this has been going on for quite a while now. They are just stood there looking at what could potentially be theirs. But I'm thinking whoever attacks this, they may actually get re-attacked by the surrounding armies here. But... We'll just have to wait and see with that. And I feel with us pushing up north here, that might actually force their hand a little bit. And we also took our first New World settlement of Fortaleza. Now, we're going to just keep upgrading this. We've gone from a Motten Bailey and we're going to a wooden castle now. We're turning it into what could be a citadel, even though there's, there's very lucrative resources around here. I think in terms of finances, we're doing fairly well. So whilst we're turning this into our base of operations for training our troops back up, what we're going to do is explore even more and see what lands we can take around here. Hopefully there are some more lands to take as well. We also need to explore down here. We could have actually split our character up into two. I might do that next turn just so we can explore all of this area down here as well. Harry Higgins, I don't think he's going to get there in time to help our guys at Budapest. These guys are coming up here as well. I, th I think, it, I mean, there's a massive Hungarian army here as well. I don't think they'll be coming for us, will they? I don't think they'll be coming for us. We've also got our Rebel Crusader, which unfortunately got defeated three times. And not literally defeated, but the Rebels are moving more than two turns away. So every time we, we catch up to them, they're in here. They're in this little forest area here behind this mountain. Every time we catch up to them and try and engage with them, they just run away two turns away from our movement points. So we're going to probably just leave them for the time being and go for this one guy down here. Oh, it's just Spearman. The Spearman will die and we'll... I mean, we could have probably moved up there and then moved down, but what we'll do is we'll take this one, we'll go up to this one. I think this is going to be the best battle. This is going to be the best battle. And then we've got some rebel armies over here as well. Got, some, got an Inquisitor up there. I'm pretty sure we don't have any generals up here. No, we do not. Okay. So we can leave them as is. There was an assassin over by Stettin, which our assassin is actually going up there to go. And yeah, he's still there. He's still there. A couple of rebel armies over here as well. Now the Poles are there. I've just realized we're at war with the Poles. And we've got a, we've got a lot of settlements around here that don't actually have suitable troops to actually fend them off. So what I'm going to do actually is start training some troops up here. 
in Stettin and also Hamburg, or maybe even Mashburg, actually. Should we just train some troops up in here as well? Can we get the English Knights? We can get English Knights here. Good. We can get some artillery here as well, actually. So we'll get the retinue longbowmen as well. So we've got the heavy infantry there, the heavy cavalry, and then the archers being built in there. We'll merge them all together, and that should repel. That's a large army. That is a very, very large army. Okay, how many turns are you away from actually attacking something? I think you are just about two turns away from attacking anything within your grasp. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. And then we've got our king down here, which honestly, I don't think he's going to see the end of this Mediterranean campaign. But our navy is ready. Our king is even ready. We've got our artillery. We've got our troops sorted. Let's set sail. And where are we heading off to first? We're heading off to Heraklion. How many turns is that? One, two, three, four, five, six turns before we can set foot onto that part of the world over there. And then once we've done that one, we're going to go to Rhodes. Which is part of a blockade, I believe. How many turns? Six turns. I think we're just not going to make it. But that is why we've actually started training the ships over in Corinth, isn't it? We can have a bit of exploration, actually. Maybe we should train a spy at the same time. Can we train a spy in here? We could. Ah, actually, I've just realised as well. We said we were actually going to retrain as little as possible. So the cavalry is there. We could probably just get English knights instead. Do you know what? We'll just get some English knights instead. And we'll leave that cavalry as part of the garrison here at Corinth. With a couple of infantry units and archer units as well. Just in case the Venetians do decide to attack us again. Before our Mediterranean campaigning army fails to get there in time to relieve them. Now there's not much else we can do this turn. So. We've got our general down here as well. You. I mean the prince is part of this. Did I just see that? Philip of Nottingham. Has the prince come of age yet? No, it's the nephew we're after, isn't it? 54, 24, 44. So one of you is going to die fairly soon. I would like to spread you guys across each settlement. Where are you heading over to? You're heading over to... Oh, you're over to Toledo. We have so many generals. Three generals here. We, do, we definitely need some... We definitely need at least two in these parts down here. Because we've not actually got any generals down here, have we? So you can go over there, you can go to Venice, and then the last one, I'm thinking we move over to the Eastern Front, possibly at Prague. No, we've already got one in Prague and Breslau. Majburg? We've not got one in Majburg. We've actually got quite a few up there, haven't we? Yes. Nuremberg, Innsbruck, Stauffen has one, Frankfurt has one. Let's actually move you towards... Let's stick you in Frankfurt for the time being. And we can think about where else to stick him momentarily. I mean, there's no generals in these settlements, is there? Perhaps we could get a general in one of these. Cagliari could actually have a decent general. Let's do that. Let's get him in Cagliari. We'll put him down here. Continuing and hopefully we side. remember about that. Now, can we attack Grenada next turn? No, we cannot. Do we go and kill the Orders. prince? Do we go and kill the prince with this army? Command. Thing is, if we attack Grenada... Yes. This army is obviously going to engage because they're not going to leave their settlement or their prince. Or is it the faction? Oh, the faction leader even. Oh, yeah. I think I think we stick him in there. I think we go for him. Why not? It'd be fun, won't it? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Now, our general down there placing the watchtowers for visibility. We can stick one there and even move. Whoa. Oh, they're taking this battle. They're taking this battle. The battle that deserted their prince. And left him for dead at taking this battle. Now, Captain Laszlo, I believe he led the mutiny and left his prince to die. So, let's do the Hungarian prince. Let's do the Hungarians one favour, the prince himself, actually. Let's actually avenge his death because nobody likes to be deserted by their men, do they? So, without further ado, let's get into it. Muster your courage, men! Now, they are actually taking this battle. Now, this is quite a level playing field, quite literally. So, skirmish mode off for you guys. Infantry is behind. I'm assuming the mount, the dismounted. Yep, besides one of them being over there, which is very weird. Rather than your armored swordsman there. So, let's just switch positions for them. You can jump in there. There we go. Now, I don't mind that formation. We don't actually have that much cavalry. So, the cavalry can just stay over there for the time being. The rest of you guys group together. Besides you, you can group together and I'll start the battle. I actually think they will be coming towards us. 
I do think they will come towards us. They've got catapults as well. Hmm. There's a lot of archers and missile units here. That is a lot. Unfortunately, again, we don't have that much cavalry, so let's see what they do. So as we started moving, they've started moving closer towards us. So we're just going to move back, because I think the archers are trying to get into range. The cavalry's moving. I'm trying to keep an eye on those catapults as well. If we're going to use our cavalry for something, it's going to have to be for those catapults. But I don't want the archers to engage on us, because there's crossbows there as well. I can hear. It sounds as though they are actually firing. Oh, there's arquebusiers over there as well. It's arquebusiers over there. Ah, that's not great. Mercenary. Okay, go and charge into them. Go and charge into them. We should be able to pick off quite a few here. They are reloading and the crossbows are reloading as well, but I don't think they're actually firing on our cavalry, are they? Are they? No, they're not. No, they're not. That's okay. Now, the arquebusiers should actually break quite quickly without taking too many casualties. Hopefully. Hey! Oh, no, and the catapults, the catapults, the catapults. Are these wavering? No, they're shaking. Oh, they're all firing on us. Just run, just run, just run, just run. Run down here. Right, they've broken. They've just broken. But these crossbowmen, are they going to engage with our cavalry? No, they are not. Catapults are over there. Let's try and bring our cavalry over there. They're still fresh. The archers are indeed still firing. What are you firing at? How are we doing? Let's slowly bring the cavalry back up over here. The archers are still firing. And the cavalry... Where's the general? Where's the commander? Let's turn this down slightly. Let's put it up to 1.5. I think we can actually come in from behind here, you know. I think we can actually come in from behind here. We'll get the 10 onto the catapults. We'll get the 30 onto the Pavese crossbowmen. Lance is down, lads. Do it. Yes! Straight into the side of them. That should engage the cavalry to come and join in. The 10 units should be able to deal with the catapults, hopefully. Yep, the cavalry's turned around. The cavalry has turned around. These guys are steady. Oh, come on. Please don't break. Please don't break. They're warmed up. Oh, they're fighting to the death. Catapults, go back. Go back. You've killed a lot of crossbowmen. You've killed a lot of crossbowmen. Now, the archers are still advancing forward. Again, they don't really have that much infantry units. So, it's just a battle of archers at the moment. Which I think we can deal with. Now, you guys are going to retreat. Let's try and sound the horn to see if these guys can actually come back. And they do indeed. The sound of the general makes them happy. They're actually firing. Have they killed any of our units there? Two, three, four. Oh, my God. They killed a lot. Charge into them. Charge into them. Come on. We'll stick them all together. There's only 37 left of them. Oh, that was a good rally. And they've just absolutely destroyed... Wait, that's the general. That's the commanding unit. Wow. I did not realise that was the commanding unit. I thought it was the cavalry. Right, wait for the catapults to turn around. Wait for the catapults to... I don't want to engage with the cavalry. I don't want to engage with the cavalry. Do you know what? Let's get these guys to advance forward. Let's get these guys to advance forward right now. Let's just advance forward. There's so many archers that we just need to deal with. We're engaging with the catapults again. The cavalry are... Yeah, they have noticed it, and I think they are now going to engage with us again. Heavy cavalry there. I don't think we can actually withstand this, but catapults, there's five units. They've broken. They've broken. Just, just run back. Just run back. Dismounted English knights, I want you to advance. Um... Oh, here we go. They've just started breaking. They've just started breaking. And also, our cavalry's just started breaking. Again, can you regroup? Can you regroup? You can. You can. You can. Good, 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 good. Go for these guys. I want you to kill as many of these as you possibly can. Once you've done that, archers. I want you to stop. Stop firing because our infantry units are here. That's it. Keep advancing forward. Just keep advancing forward. And once you engage, I want you guys to go and engage with those guys if you can actually reach them. Cavalry, come down there. You can go and chase them and them and then them. There we go. There we go. We've completely surrounded these guys now. We've completely surrounded them. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Right, we're pretty much done and dusted with a lot of these guys now. They are shaking, but they are not breaking. Guys, go for them. I want you guys all on fire at will. Wait, why have the archers moved forward? Have I accidentally selected the archers to go and kill something? Rather than the dismounted feudal knights? Oh, I'm bloody silly, aren't I? Right, straight into the side of these. Straight, they're not even looking the right way. They're not even looking the right way. And the cavalry's there, but unfortunately, we've just killed some of our cavalry units. Oh my god, go back, go back, go back. Go after them. Where's the general? Where is the general? The general's playing with these guys. Put these crossbowmen, you can go into them, then chase into the back of them. I think this is just clean up now, guys. Behold how our 
cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. They're all dead. And do you know what? We're going to end the battle there and show a bit of humility. Over a thousand dead. That is quite a sitting, unfitting, vengeful attack on this Hungarian army. This is what you get if you abandon your prince. No faction wants to see that happen. That is true treachery right there. And we are going to show again... Well, we did actually finish them all off, did we? But we're definitely not going to show any mercy here. They are all dead. And that is what you get. Now, you can go back to Toulouse, retrain the army, and then we can possibly send that army over to the New World if we need to. Or, I'm thinking possibly move it south. Oh my god, what is that noise? What is that noise? I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there's a very loud clicking noise. Ah, they finally removed the sh and the prince is retreating. Well, the faction air is retreating. Oh, what is that noise? That sounds like an end of turn report. I'm going to have to listen to this back. But yeah, this is uh, it's blockading all of the other noises as well. I can't hear any of the other units moving or anything else. The Papal State's going to attack us. The Pope's there. The Pope's coming in for a look. The Mongols, what do you guys want? Hopefully this sorts out the, um, if you actually open diplomacy, it sorts out the sound. No, you're not opening diplomacy. That's a nine. Oh, the noise did nearly finish then, and we have got a little bit of noise. There we go. Suitable husband, you're very old, but sure, we'll take it. Cease hostilities with Hungary. But there's no excommunication. That was really annoying. Well, fortunately, the noise has gone. Now, whilst we are here, let's kill this guy. Get a bit of experience for you. Yep, indeed you do. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Trade increase, marriage celebrations, congratulations. Relations, relations improve to outstanding with the Papal States. Report from the Pope. You approve all of those. Cardinal promoted, hungry. Faction announcements. Charles the Mean has died in Leon. And nothing else substantial. Death stocks the land. Is this at Helsinki again? It is. Trait increase. Yep, we know that. End of turn report. We are first for everything. Nothing changed there. Now, you go back over there. Let's, well, we'll repair that first. Now, what units can we actually merge together? Let's merge you together. Merge you together. Oh, and then we can merge you. Okay, that works out. You guys, you guys. You can go in there. You. You. You and you. And then we can retrain those. Fortunately, no experience to lose here. Knights, you can merge together. And then we can just reach. That's much better. Much, much better. There we go. Three turns to actually get our troops up and running. We'll probably get some culverins. And then we'll have another decent army here as well. Okay. That's looking good. Now here, I am, I am concerned at the moment for why they've got so many troops around here. Now, can we get an assassin local to this area? We can. We'll get an assassin in Bologna first. But this is a lot. Sorry. I must remain yeah, this is a lot of troops here. Granted, that's just long. artillery. But this army here also looks slightly like it's just artillery. What about the popes? Sorry. Maybe they're trying a new tactic, but yeah, all of their troops are out. Maybe... Now, I've seen some comments about just taking out the Papal States faction, but... Let's try and get a bit of a consensus here because we could actually wipe them off the plate, well, off the face of the earth very quickly and swiftly. We could use the army that's currently being retraining to lose to go and sort them out, but let us know if we should definitely do that because I kind of like having quite a neutral, well, I say neutral, but, you know, an expectedly neutral against war faction here where we can try and get, you know, try and influence, especially on crusades and, you know, getting the Pope elected and all that stuff, so... Let us know if you genuinely want us to take this over because we could definitely we could definitely do that. Now let's move our Mediterranean. Actually, they're already okay. We've got this army here. Let's go and have a bit of a nosy. What have we just run into? At war. Oh, we're at war with the Timurids already. Go and destroy them then. Yep. Now, can you move over here? Right, Heraklion. The faction leader, and they are currently plagued. Right, that is good to know. I want to go and check if this is actually a Byzantine. I mean, they've got a lot of troops, and I wouldn't be surprised if this was Byzantine, because it looks as though the area is still under Byzantine control. This area here, we've already discovered, was 
Well, it was getting attacked by the Venetians. We're pretty sure it was. So we need to go and have a look over here as well to see what this settlement is as well. Now, in terms of army, the Corinth, you guys are still retraining and you will be for the next one, three turns. Three turns out down there. You can you kill these. Oh, you can't kill them. Mm, you cannot kill that guy. What about... What percentage are you on? 48. It's not great, is it? Let's just try and destroy Thessalonica as much as possible. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You can do that. The Poles have actually retreated back. Now, can we actually get a garrison in here? No, we still can't. We could also just move one up from Budapest or from the likes of Breslau as well if we really wanted to. But I'm happy waiting. There's no, there's no rush to end the Poles and the Hungarians' demise. Now, we've been told to end hostilities with the Hungarians for seven turns. And I think we could possibly do that. Seeing as they've just lifted the siege on us, let's move these guys up and kind of blockade this part here and this part here. We've got watchtowers in place to see if they're actually going to come towards us. So I think we're in a good position now just to hold off and wait whilst our armies regroup, retrain before pushing on to finish the Hungarians and the Poles. Now, we didn't actually get told that we'd be excommunicated. So there's always that to think about. So let's just wait for as long as we can, unless they attack us and then we'll show them their ultimate demise. Anyway, so now you are not going to take this battle. You are going to run. Let's kill them. Oh, a very frosty morning here on this battlefield. Now it's just Spearmen. They are not going to advance forward unless they want to just kill themselves and get this battle over and done with. So you guys, we're just going to have the spearmen. We're just going to have the uh, the archers do the work. Now you have a bit of a height advantage, don't you? How close can we actually get there? Wait, there. Okay, some can actually fire now. We're slowly getting closer. Slowly getting closer. I just want to kill them all. Okay, one can actually get in range. I think two can... There we go. The all can. Now they just fire. Let's turn fire on as well. And let's just watch this archer rain from above. They're actually charging towards us. They are charging towards us. We've got our fire arrows on and you can just... Oh my god. Watch them burn alive. Some crispy armoured sergeants in the morning here on this battlefield. Now we have got skirmish mode on for the archers. Which are... Yeah, we still have the skirmish mode on. So they will retreat if they need to. The armoured swordsmen, I believe, are laying just behind them. We'll turn our cavalry up on the hill over here to try and distract them slightly. But we will not charge them with the cavalry. Oh, there's not many left of them. There's not many left of them. They've paused. The they're, yeah, they're in shock. They're confused. They're looking at each other thinking, this is not a good idea. Let's regroup. Let's huddle up just to make it easier for our archers at point blank range to kill as many as possible. And here they are again. Oh. You can hear the screams. The screams and that's it. They've given up. No. Yeah, let's clean them up, guys. Kill them all. a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor zero men lost that might actually be the first rebel crusading battle we've had where we've actually lost zero men and the archers clearly had a bit of fun doing it <laughs> lawrence the mean trade increase plus three loyalty okay Demand you can move up there now to this battle which i think we're probably going to be doing that in the next episode, but this one will be the deciding factor for how well our crusade is going against the rebels. This is a very strong army. Now, just weighing up the options we've got in terms of infantry. I mean, they've got a lot of spearmen, haven't they? Well, two units of spearmen. Well, three units, technically. I mean, four units, technically. Ooh, we could try and kill as many of them as possible with the archers. Let the archers focus on them. The swordsmen that we've got could possibly go onto the cavalry and the peasants, possibly the halberd militia here as well. And obviously the armoured swordsmen over here as well. Well, the spear militia. Spearmen obviously on the cavalry. With our cavalry running onto the crossbows as well. This could actually be quite a fair and balanced battle. I'm pretty interested to see how this battle over here goes. Now, looking at the new world over here, we said we were going to split two of our armies up. So you guys come down here and I want you guys to... Just try and explore down this part as much as possible. You guys move up here. 
Hopefully next turn we discover a new land over here. There's probably ones over here as well. If this is, of course, the Caribbean islands. We've also got our Mediterranean army ready to move over here. With our general down here ready to put a watchtower. And that should... I mean, do we do one over here? I think we do. Let's put one over here as well. Because this gives us quite a nice view of the coastline. We could follow the coast down here as far as we possibly can. And then follow the road back down here and scatter it with again some more watchtowers which i think we will do that's quite a good idea i like this i like this now there's not much else we can do at the moment but we are going to take granada oh we've got the gates open as well and then you i mean yeah the navy actually got destroyed didn't it can we put you in there and actually retrain you guys oh we can can we actually make gun hawks we can make gun hawks Oh, this is good. Now, how much experience do you guys actually have? Is it worth... Nah. Nah. I mean, we can merge you guys together. Let's actually increase the experience. Also with you guys. You are hulks. Oh, you guys are hulks, aren't you? Okay, well, yeah. I think that's probably a better way anyway. We've got games on in here. Like, can we turn these guys off? Yeah, we can. we can. We can leave that as is. Let's retrain all of you guys. That'll take us a few turns. We've got a garrison in there as well. Yep, that place is all good. Now, An order. let's take Granada and kick the Moors, in terms of settlements, that is, off of modern-day Spain. Captain Mustafa. Oh, it's just camel gunners and some ballistas. Oh, this is going to be a walk in the park. Let's see if we can kill them with the artillery. Let's do it. Leave your mercy behind, men. And here we are, overlooking this citadel. White high walls, but I'd be... Excellent. Our spy has opened yeah. the gates. I'd be very... Let's I was just about to say. I'd be very surprised if they're actually mounting anything but the town centre. Although, looking at this... Hang on a second. They've split their troops up quite... Quite unevenly, to be honest. We could probably just get our cavalry straight in there, to be honest. Um. Actually, no. Let's get our spearmen in here as well first. Can the... Ca oh. The culverin can actually reach... Culverin can actually reach these. We've got the culverins targeting those camel gunners. We've got our archers and other spearmen moving up. Let's see where these culverins go. Let's see where they end up. Is it going to get over the tower? Just about. Although it looks as though actually they've actually managed to inflict some, some casualties. Let's go and have a look at behind the gates before our guys get there. They have. They actually have. Camel gunners, no match for those bigger guns over on the horizon. There's a bit of a hill here as well, so we do have actually have uh, the height advantage. We can see them firing. You can see the cannonballs coming in. Ooh! These guys are actually firing at something. Now, they can't surely reach our guys that are all the way over there. Mm, no, they can't. Now, our archers are not in range still. Let's see if we can actually just move them closer slightly. And see if we can actually get them in range, because I really want them to just inflict some casualties before our spearmen get in there as well. In range? Not quite. Ooh, okay. Good, decent shot there from the culverin. We've also got our archers and our troops now moving in. Our archers are firing already. The Lord is with us today. Wait. We've captured are they going to retreat? Walls. I think they might. I think they might retreat. You know. Yeah, they are indeed retreating. What I want to bring up, actually, is our cavalry. Because I want to get our cavalry in here to go and chase down these ballista units. Camel gunners are, of course, retreating. We are taking some casualties now. Let's see if we can get our archers up on the walls as fast as possible. And see if we can actually still get in range of those guys. Now, let's bring our... Oh, wait, no. Oh. They're just running straight backwards. Okay. Well, in that case, then, let's just keep following them through. Ballistas are now engaged. They've been left by themselves. Completely isolated, and they've broken. And there's going to be nothing left of them. Yeah. Dead. Let's bring these guys back over here, just while our infantry units sort out these camel gunners. I think we're just about going to catch them off guard here. I think we are going to engage. We are in... Oh, my God. They've just, they are just mowing them down. Oh, my God. Look at... The, the camels are just falling apart. They're already wavering. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh, this is... This is... Honestly, this is a... 
This is a slaughter. Let's get the spearmen through as well. They've already broken. Oh, this is the commanding unit. Where is it? Is this him? That is not him. Oh, wait, they're already they're already retreating. Why are we taking casualties from our own... Wait, why are you guys running? Are you guys just walk in a second. Just walk in. You guys also just walk in. Let's try and get our archers in there as well. The commander is right at the back of his army. All through this, they've left the gatehouse open. I mean, it's open anyway, but he's right there. Look at him. Look at how stressed he looks. He's had a very stressful life. He's had a very stressful past 10 minutes. And it looks as though it's going to get even worse for him because as we can see in the distance there, the English are slowly approaching with him unknowing what is about to befall him. We can see the spearmen running in. We can see the spearmen running in. And here we go. There, he's going to fall immediately. He's going to fall immediately. Look at the amount of spearmen that are here. He's trying to fight valiantly. Some of his troops moonwalking backwards to try and help him. And fighting backwards. Now I think I know whilst they're... Oh. The general is dead. The wall himself. And they've, they've, just, they've just fallen apart. <laughs> they've just fallen apart. Yeah. That was interesting. But now we've united all of modern day Spain and Portugal, of course, into a unified English, well, part of the unification of the English Empire. And now do we push on into North Africa? Or do we just kind of blockade the Strait of Gibraltar for the time being whilst we muster up our forces? The faction leader did manage to jam himself away as the Moorish Navy destroyed the fleet that was blockading it. Perhaps we just build up our forces with the navy, blockade the straits again, because we do have a Moorish army yet to defeat by Cordoba. Let us know what you think in the comments. And there we go. The unification is complete. Victory. It's taken Nothing what has literally been centuries of campaigning. The Spanish and the Moors being allies for a very long time. The Portuguese and the Spanish being allies for a very long time. And here they are. Completely gone. Besides, just, just ignore these two up here. Just ignore those armies. But in terms of settlements, they've com been completely wiped off the face of this map. And on that note, everyone, we're going to be leaving it there. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments. And I will see you all in the next one.